Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the demonstration video of Teach PD by Team IOSIS. This is a unique edX platform to implement hands on experience of classroom, labs, and teaching material blended with interactive platform. The edX platform Teach PD is divided into three users, three user cases. Firstly, we have an admin, then a course publisher or uh, the faculty, uh, the student who, en who will be enrolling the courses, uh, and finally, now we will be having a, a tour, a virtual tour of the whole platform. So let's start uh, with the course publisher and uh, how it looks like and how do they publish. So in the screen, what you can see is a perspective view of a course publisher or a faculty here. He can uh, see the courses uh, he has already published. Uh, he can uh, earn uh, if you want to publish a paid course. He can see uh, his earnings and etc. The quiz attempts. Uh, whoever has taken the quizzes and how, how uh, is their progresses. Uh, what are the assignments and uh, if someone has uh, submitted the assignments, enrolled courses. Uh, if he is doing any courses. Uh, wish list uh, reviews and my quiz attempts and uh, etc. So, uh, so for a uh, course publisher, the important crucial thing is to create a new course. Here, you can uh, use a title, a uh, so short description, uh, course thumbnail, maybe. Uh, so, we can use a thumbnail and then uh, type beginner, expert, all level. So, we'll select intermediate category, it's a physics then topic uh, then intro video so we'll be using a youtube video link maybe so create course so after he has created a course uh, he might be able to set curriculums uh, so what are the new things he's going to add if he's uh, doing it free or paid and uh, other there are a lot more publishing options uh, dripping and publishing so in the information in the curriculum he has to add sections and um, he has to like make uh, uh, the curriculum or the contents introduction. Let's say we are creating the introduction part and then uh, it's a lecture. So maybe the title uh, and then some descriptions. then we can add the lecture so here uh, he can also add videos in, uh, if you want to add videos in the lecture or uh, any uh, html mp4 audio uh, then embedded uh, or any pdf contents he can also attach contents then if it's to, uh, if uh, the course needs to take a quiz they can set a quiz Let's say a test quiz. We are setting a test quiz. And create the quizzes and then set questions. There are multiple choices multi line text, single line text, single choice. Uh, let's say uh, we are scoring it one. Uh, yes. Well, let's say that's for an example, and the correct answer is is set question yep we are done and then you can grade it show time time limit five minutes let's say and then passing score maybe one or two question limit maybe raised or reduced then you have to save the quiz that's how uh, the faculty is going to moderate the courses and publish it definitely you have to publish the course the course has been published so by this we have ended uh, the perspective view of uh, a faculty or the course moderator or course publisher now uh, let's have a look on how uh, the student view student end view looks like or how the students are going to experience more interactive things on our platform so 
on landing of the uh, on the platform here the teach pd uh, the students can know about teach pd then they can find the courses let's say we're doing this chemistry course you see the introduction and then if he likes it or if he is he has to take the course then you have to enroll and if it's free it will enroll automatically then he needs to continue the course now coming to the um, point there will be uh, text based uh, assignments uh, attachments quizzes and etc mixed up to complete a whole course so we, you don't have to worry about the moderating contents it will be easy for the faculty and the student on the both ends then uh, coming to the uh, next part of our video so the important points of this competition is building a interactive platform or an experience a hands-on experience for the student of the lab or the classrooms so how we are going to do that so for example we will be enrolling into this course spring and masses which is under physics we can see the lecture video of this course so we like the course we will enroll it then here you can see there is a simulator link so we'll be copying the simulator link and open it on a tab here you can see a lab simulation of the course so we will be doing the masses and springs introduction here you can see there are different type of masses and the simulators so now we are going to test it the spring constant will be balanced and then you have a, also a stopwatch you can start the count and you can also write in your uh, lab sheet and complete the experiment the experiments are almost nearly accurate to the natural uh, real life and then the gravity can be customized let's have another tour of another course Here you can also take part in the quizzes. Start, you can start the quiz, and there will be some quizzes for you. We have already attempted the quiz, and here you can see failed. That means the student was unable to attend the full marks or the required marks to pass. So let's see another uh, course simulation. Here you can see a chemistry lab course so so you can see a color changing uh, lab so here you can you have to uh, uh, observe the color of the solution and also you can observe how much crystal it, it is precipitating by this uh, by increasing the volume of uh, the solute amount and the solution amount and uh, you can also change all the parameters and you can also see the values and complete your experiment required uh, the uh, according to the question that is required So by this, uh, we are also done with uh, having a tour on the student uh, side. Then uh, talking about finally, there will be an admin. The admin will also be able to moderate the courses, the accounts and the content management system. And then the uh, 
another one and crucial point of our project or the platform is uh, the interaction between the student and the teacher uh, or student uh, if they are facing any problem how we are going to solve that so for that uh, this whole problem uh, so we have created our teaching assistant platform which is itself another uh, platform for teaching assistants which is integrated to teach bd so here uh, we can see uh, get if you want to get teaching assistance you have to click here you can uh, start a discussion and uh, tell your a problem so to start a discussion you need your uh, account actually sorry you have to make an account okay here you can see we, you can start a discussion like i need help on uh, a physics problem based on mass and spring you can post the discussion uh, it might be general or different kind of tags you have to tag it and okay you have to give a title physics problem here you can see uh, the problem has been stated by me and someone can also write a reply or you can assign the faculty can assign a teaching assistant or any teaching assistant um, seeing this problem they might give the answers for you they might contact you they uh, will follow you up and uh, uh, then uh, the student and the teaching assistants can have their conversation or here also like let's uh, give it a demo uh, So uh, they can also uh, t t take the consultation maybe on a third party app like Zoom and uh, etc. In a video conferencing platform or they might have a call and whatnot. But uh, the teaching assistance uh, will be given to them uh, eventually. So um, by this um, we are having, uh, we can also see that this Teach PD, our platform Teach PD can provide you uh, virtual teaching assistance, virtual lab experiences and uh, all the engagement and if the faculties need they will conduct consultation classes over uh, third party uh, video conferencing apps or softwares so uh, by this way actually we are not um, preferring uh, any kind of like regular uh, video classes or online classes because uh, every people in this quarantine or in this situation ha have their own problems have their own schedules or uh, they might be facing uh, uh, maintaining the time schedule between their uh, daily shorts and um, courses so we have kept the courses and the student totally isolated and flexible depending on uh, how much a student requires or he, he or she can complete the course anytime and can uh, attend the quizzes on a time but there will be uh, deadlines for the quizzes uh, so you, you have to complete the quizzes and the grading system will be automatically updated in your um, profile so basically we have uh, created a whole ecosystem between the teacher uh, the faculty and the student and the course so there are more flexibility more learning and more um, progress we can see here and uh, this whole version is also in beta testing you can browse uh, this uh, website on
you can browse this website on uh, https arctodo.com slash teachbd and you can have the hands-on experience here thank you so much that was iosis and thank you